I have know me really well. The bats that I have are injured. They can't fly. They're not able to, to fly around in here. That's the reason why we have them. I don't go into the wild and, and take animals and bring them into captivity. We rescue animals. So the animals that I'm going to show you are animals that can't fly. So they're not going to get away in here. But also, when I take them around, please don't reach up and touch them because they don't know you. And that would be scary for them. It would be just like if I held one of you right now and I let everybody pet you. <laughs> would, you would you like that? <laughs> so I'm putting on gloves. I'm a scientist, but I always take extra care to make sure that the animal and I are both protected. So here he is. He's sleeping, but now he's just waking up. His name is Radar. Here's Radar. Why is that called a big brown bat? And it's called a big brown bat because most bats in Michigan are smaller than this bat. They eat moths and gnats and flies and beetles and mosquitoes. Now it's all brown, so it really blends into its colors. So it's got good camouflage. So the animals blend into their color, into the color of their habitat, of the trees that they live in. But big ears, they can hear their echolocation. So I'm going to turn on this bat detector. Now if I move the bat around a little bit. Now the bat's echolocating. See his mouth opening and closing? Don't squish him so hard. I'm not squishing him at all. He is bouncing sounds off of all of you right now. Can you feel the sounds? Yes. The, um, the next bat I'm going to show you is a mega bat. So the first bat was a micro bat. Micro means small. Small eyes, big ears, and they use echolocation. Mega bats have large eyes, a dog-like face, and they can see as well as an owl can at night. And they just eat what? All mega bats are fruit eaters. Have you ever seen the book Stella Luna? Okay. There's a lot of really great books. Now remember to stay quiet. Go. So this is Congo. He can see really well. So what he likes to do first off is be up against me with his back up against me and just be able to look around just in case any of you are going to rush up and eat them. He wants to see first. Would you like to see him crawl around on the branch? Yeah! Okay, great. Got to stay quiet. Now I'm going to set him. Oh, let's see. Which way do we want to see him go? Let's set him here. And come go. Come on, boy. is how they use their thumbs. They don't have hands. Their wing is their kind of their hand, or it's turned into their hand. But they use their thumbs to crawl around with. Can we, can we get you a couple more times? Good boy. When fruit bats land, come on. Oh, you want to just hang up? Okay, that's good. Can he hang upside down? He is hanging upside down. Let's see you a good flap. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Flap. <laughs> the next bat is an endangered bat. Endangered means they're almost extinct. All right, so endangered, right? All eagles were endangered. All right, this I think is one of the more beautiful bats. He looks a lot like a bear. I love his head, his face. He can't. Remember, none of the bats that I brought with me can fly. He'll flap his wings when he wants to. His name's Angus. Good question. Can we hear him? Only the first bat I showed you, or we're going to listen to their echolocation. Because the big bats don't echolocate. The big bats can see really well with their eyes, like an owl can. Well, in the middle of the ocean, there's a little island, and that's, this bat is found on that one little island. And on that island, they had no predators. None. No big birds, no snakes, no cats, nothing that would eat them. So they didn't need these big ears to listen for predators. Do you see them flat? 
it's okay. Remember, this bat only eats fruit. So you, you're a little girl, so he would not would want anything to do with you. He just eats fruit. Now also, notice this bat's long nose. Well, the bat has a long nose because so it could smell fruit. Yeah, so it would like to eat things like yellow bananas or a ripe melon. And so that has a good, strong smell. And so they need that long nose to smell ripe fruit. No. Angus, Angus does have an injured wing. He's 16 years old. He uh, is part of a, a colony, a group of bats, that we try to keep in captivity in zoos so that just in case they became extinct in the wild, we could take bats back out to the island and reintroduce the bats on the island. The last bat is the largest bat in the whole world. largest bats in the world. Her name is Peggy. Peggy Sue, actually. Peggy Sue is what we call a Malayan flying fox. It's the largest kind of bat in the entire world. She's 18 years old, and she hasn't been able to fly since she was probably a couple years old. That's funny about you might see her tooth sticking out a little bit. Most bats don't have their teeth sticking out, but we, we don't have bat orthodontists, so um, she just has a little bit of a funny tooth that sticks out. But normally you can't see their teeth outside of their outside of their mouth. So we hang upside down, right? It's kind of fun, isn't it? All right. So when we hang upside down, blood goes to our head, and we have a hard time hanging upside down for too long. Well, bats don't have that problem because gravity doesn't pull their body down. Well, we have blood in our bodies and we can deal with it up the right side up, but bats just don't weigh enough for, for gravity to pull that blood down to, uh, to their head. The way that they hang is by their feet and it's just by the weight of their body. So they have tendons and as soon as they hang, the tendons pull on their toes. And so they hang and it just pulls on. They fall asleep. They can even hibernate for six months and not fall off because their body weight pulls down and holds on with their uh, toes. Okay, well, I'll make sure that your teachers have our website address to learn more. Thank you so much for coming out today. You are a great audience.